Salisha. Hey guys, my news. And we're here from Linka Good. So today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms in the entire world. Our moms work very hard for us. They are just the best. So today for this special Mother's Day, I am going to be making a coffee named Dalgona Coffee. This coffee is internet viral and my mom loves to drink this coffee. So it's super delicious. It looks awesome. So I just let you get started with some adventure. Woo! Okay, so I have a bowl over here, and in this bowl, I'm going to be adding these different kinds of ingredients. So first of all, I'm going to be adding this coffee powder. You guys can be using any company of coffee powder, but over here, I'm using this company's coffee powder. So I am going to be taking two teaspoons of coffee powder. So here, I have two teaspoons of coffee powder, and now I'm going to add it into the big bowl. So here, you guys could see that I added it into the big bowl, and now I'm going to go to the next ingredient. So over here, I have three teaspoons of sugar. So you guys can use any company of sugar, but three teaspoons of sugar. So now I added it inside the big bowl. So nextly, I am going to be adding water. So I'm gonna use two teaspoons of water. So let's add the water into the bowl. Okay, so right now you guys can see I added my three ingredients into the bowl and now I'm gonna be taking this spoon and I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit and then we're gonna start using our hand mixture or even a mixture to mix it up. So now let's go to the next process. So over here, I have the I have the small mixture. So you guys can use a mixer or a mix or a hand mixture to mix up our coffee mixture. So, but over here, I am going to be using a hand mixture. So I'm gonna start my hand mixture and I'm gonna mix it up till five minutes, five to 10 minutes till it is ready and let's to go. So now you guys could see that I am almost ready, but not really, because let me show you guys how you know when your coffee powder is ready or not. So over here, I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit and if it starts dripping from the spoon place, it means that it is not ready. You have to still mix it more. So right now, it is not ready, so I'm gonna still keep mixing it until it's completely ready. So here, you guys could see it again. It's dripping, it means it is not ready. We have to do it till it is stuck into the spoon. So now, let's keep mixing it more. So I'm gonna start the mixture again and I'm gonna start mixing it again. Here, I turned on the mixture and I'm gonna start keep mixing it until it is ready. Okay, so right now I'm still mixing it and right now after like about five to 10 minutes, it is looks like it's ready because whenever I start to mix it up and see it, it is actually stuck to the spoon place. So it's not coming out. It means now I know that it is ready. So you guys could see over here that it's stuck. It's not dripping like it used to be when we saw it last year, last time. So right now you guys could see that it's ready. So now let's go to the next process. So right now I have a little spatula over here and I'm just gonna get off the excess from the end and I'm gonna start mixing it up and just to show you guys that the foam is ready. So here I am getting it off and now I am going to start mixing it up a little bit and just show it to you guys that it's sticky. So it should be, it should have changed its color from dark to light and it should feel super foamy. So here you guys could see that it's sticking to the spatula. It means it is completely ready. And now we have to go to the next process. So it's completely ready. So now let's go to the next process. Okay, so right now over here, I have my foamy mixture for the coffee and I also have some milk. You guys can use hot or cold milk, but I am using hot milk because I feel like it's better. So here I have hot milk and now I'm gonna take, I have the spoon, which is which um, is about till teaspoons. So right now I'm gonna add two to three teaspoons into our hot slash cold milk. So here that's one. So I'm gonna keep adding it until I have two to three teaspoons of our foamy mixture. So here you guys could see that I'm adding one and I'm gonna keep adding it until I have two to three teaspoons. So here you guys could see that this is another teaspoon that I'm taking, which is the second teaspoon. So this is a very great and a very delicious coffee. So try it out, it's awesome. And right now over here, I added all three teaspoons of the coffee foamy mixture. And right now, so to just to decorate it, you have to just spread it apart a little bit and just keep swirling it until it has a little swirl on it and that's when it looks pretty. 
So right now I'm done swirling it and it looks super pretty in the top because the swirl is the one that's going to make it awesome. So right now it looks completely awesome and right now I'm going to be adding some coffee powder to just to decorate it. So here I have some coffee powder over here and now I'm just going to add, I'm just going to do a little sprinkles, don't add too much. I'm just going to do a little bit sprinkles and then I'm going to start eating it. So I'm just going to add a little bit over here. So just a little sprinkles to make it to decorate it. It's very optional. You guys do not have to do it. So here you guys could see that the coffee powders picture, it looks super awesome. The Dalgona coffee is completely ready. And I hope you guys like it. So it's very awesome. And I hope you make it for your moms. But anyways, that was all for today. Like and subscribe for more from videos. And please try this recipe at your home. Because this coffee is just the best. And it tastes so Super delicious and it's just the best. And once again, a special happy Mother's Day to all the moms in the whole entire world. You moms are the best. You guys help us so much. I will see you guys next time. Until that, peace. peace.